my name is Clement Bugase of Community Water and Sanitation Agency, Ghana. Great. So, can you t tell me um, what you've been doing here in Stockholm? I mean, maybe just touching a little bit on what it is that people have been interested in about Ghana and your work at CWSA. Yes, our colleagues have been interested in the, how we get, uh, especially our small town systems going, the operation and maintenance by the community management structures and how successful that has been. So we've been sharing that with them. Um, you know that the local government system is yet evolving in Ghana. It's not well grounded, but as Community Water and Sanitation Agency, we've been able to work ahead of that system and we are able to establish community management groups. We call them uh, Water and Sanitation Development Boards for small town systems and Water and Sanitation Committees for point sources, that is the hand pumps. So before we put in place a facility, we uh, send a community uh, development officer to the community and prepares the community try to listen to their needs and concerns, and then organize them into uh, groups, debas, and then eventually they elect members they think they can trust who can maintain and operate the system on their behalf. And we give them training, not only technically, but how to keep their finances and how to involve all the community members in tariff setting and the, the running of the facility when it's ready. And, uh, to some extent, we think we've been very successful in that. Um, uh, as far as the ability of the community members are concerned, they've been able to keep the systems going. So how much um, engagement on your part does it require to, you know, I mean, I'm sure it varies per community, but yeah, it's a lot of, if you want to really get them to, to do the thing well and to support you to sustain the facility, it's a lot of uh, work because you need to engage them for maybe two or three weeks, then allow space. And uh, what we do is, before construction, we engage them for two weeks. During construction, you have to find time to go and go with them to the construction site for them to see what is being done. And then after construction, you do the proper training and then handing over. And then they, they need periodic support, visits. Have you done that? Have you done that to fill the various forms? Tariffs are being set, community members, have you held meetings? What are the concerns? What have you done about them? Is the area clean? The area around the borehole or the system that where they affect the water? And that, that should actually be ongoing, but sometimes a lack of logistics makes uh, people to, uh, at a point in time when they feel comfortable, they stop going there and, uh, and allow the community to run the system. So what, what's the next step for, for Ghana now? Are there new uh, modalities coming in? Are you evolving yes, approaches? Yes, we, we're trying to evolve approaches and uh, this is done, taking into consideration what lessons we've learned on the ground, the concerns of community members. Um, and it varies from community to community. To community. You, you'll be surprised to find out that some communities, they have no problem at all and the system is running effectively and efficiently but some communities have problems, so you need to uh, keep engaging them. So we're trying to see the best way of sustaining service 24-7 and being able to minimize downtime if there are any major breakdowns. And that requires money. Okay. Money really. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, thank you very much. It's a pleasure.